Mark Schneider, you're watching Schneider Classics, and the last time we were on the farm, we tried getting stuff running, and we couldn't get this thing running, or that thing. We, as you can see, we had another snow dump on us. I had this trail cleaned out, so it's time to try and get this thing running, because, uh, you know, you always gotta do it last minute. All we should need is this 15 16 9 16 half inch because all it is is that the starter we pulled the starter out last time uh the thaw out so it's thawed out i just need to reinstall it she's got the old uh, magnetic block heater on her she's got fresh gas in her i know that it's going to be mostly getting the starter back on probably getting some stuff some fuel to pour down the carb to get her to pop off have the battery booster because the booster we have for this thing shot but it's the battery i got for it so Let's start playing. I just went on and put on a couple more layers underneath and here because it's minus 30 and I bet I may be out here for a little bit. Got a plane up there somewhere, right there. Oh, there's a cab there, there's a cab there, there's a frame, there's the 72. I have too many projects. That thing still needs a new coil. That snowmobile. That's buried. Oh, look at this bucket. Look how buried it is. Why didn't I start you in the spring? You know, when it would have made sense. So as you can see, brush off some of this snow. Yeah, that's melting. Throw a little snow on your magnet. It always tells you if it's working. As you can see from underneath here, here's the starter. It's not hooked up. Oh. Yeah, I love getting all that dumped in my face. So, and on the camera, horrible for the camera, but see that pin's gotta go there and then this just holds her down, nice and snug-like. So, oh, don't tell me she's stuck in there again. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and clear her off from up top pull her out again for the hundredth time uh the reason we got to pull her out and reset her like every so like every couple months is because uh the flywheel and the clutch is gone and the flywheel is chipped in a couple spots uh we got to replace it but the, the only way to do it is to literally pull this entire tractor in half so it just hasn't been done of course so i'm gonna take this out Clean it, clean everything off, take this out, and then just try sticking it back in there. As you can see here, I cleaned a bit of the snow off, clear all this out, had to rehook up the throttle cable because she was just disconnected because it's just a U. Probably should just properly connect that, but that's whatever, that's fine. We got the starter out. You can see she just goes in right there, in that hole. All this does is just throw out and she's cold, and then it just uses the spinning force to throw back. She was rebuilt a couple years ago, but it's still cranky with this system. So I'm gonna try and get her back in there, get the bolts lined up properly, and go from there. So now that I got the starter on, you can see, you know, you just double bolt her. When you have too long of a bolt, you stick a nut on there and she'll work right perfectly. Uh, the reason she has the side one is because if she doesn't have that side one in there, she'll wiggle back and forth. So I got her in place and hooked up again. But before you always start a machine, there's a couple things you should do. One, you should make sure there's no snow on your air cleaner, your air filter. This is a downward choke because this is a 57 setup so you got your downdraft choke so it, it sucks your fuel right no this is an updraft the updraft uh, carb or whatever uh upside down pretty much it's uh, uses the f the the force from the the injectors because this is your exhaust four cylinders here this is your injector it sucks in both the fuel and the air and it sucks it up into the cylinder instead of sucking it down. First things you wanna do is check. Yeah, she turns over. That blade is just hard mounted in there. So I know she's turning over. Where's the, uh, I forget where the damn oil dipstick is on this thing. 
we're just gonna say it has oil. Should always check your oil. Just clear the topper off. Got a little tractor topper. I don't want to pop that right now because reasons. But I bet she has coolant. She did the last time we did. I just filled her with gas a little while ago when I last time last time we were trying to get her started in the minus the minuses. But she's hooked up now. I did not open the fuel yet. There's a little fuel release valve underneath the tank that you got to open. And then it, it uh, gravity feeds into that carb there, which it will flood it itself out and suck in and do that. So first, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the battery. I'm gonna go get the booster. I'm gonna hook her up. Like, you know, you just got anti-theft right here. Hook her up. See if she cranks over. She cranks over a pull, pour a little fuel downer. Open up the fuel and try cranking her over. Oh, you know, you got a modern GM 12 volt alternator off there. She's been converted. That's stolen off an old GM truck, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, this is hand welded and handmade by my great grandfather. He welded all of this stuff together and built this thing you got the two reservoirs for your hydraulic fluid but we've never this thing's never had hydraulic fluid in it period this thing just uses atf because uh it's cheaper uh, <laughs> yeah all right let's go grab the battery and see if this thing cranks over so we got the battery hooked up here going you know you know she's a good battery when we got the booster on her the, the, even before we even try cranky on her i know i got some juice because that light turns blue i forget which one of these i gotta turn on so i'm just gonna turn them both on one's for the lights but neither lights work so i don't know which one's lights and which one's not so we're just gonna start her both i'm not gonna put fuel down her just yet i'm gonna see if she cranks over first just through the little heater block there because I stole the cord for this. You know, let, let's her uh, melt off some of that steam there. So let's see if she cranks off. Turns out a bad solenoid can give you a bad day. So let's see if that'll fix this issue. Good old wrenches pulled out for this. Holy fuck. Oh, she turns over beautifully. So the beautiful thing about these old things, about having a coil and spark plugs, it's very easily able to tell if you got spark or not.
Meow. 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 right there. That's where we're gonna end this video off tonight. She's out from the grave and working. She needs to be running a little bit more because she's a little bit cranky because she hasn't been running in a long time. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. We've been, we've been trying to shovel snow. We're trying to get this going. Try and get her out. Uh, but place i had to go through it all we had to take the starter off show you because there's about there's about like four teeth there broke on the starter and sometimes when she engages she gets stuck on those four teeth so you gotta pull the starter move the flywheel uh, like like just a bit over put her back in and go again it's a pain in the ass but the flywheel on that clutch has to be replaced on this thing it's just yes with the whole thing apart to do it so it's just easier to pull the starter and put it back on. New solenoid, new fuel, uh, new fuel filter, the carb all gone through. I went through all the plugs, I cleaned them up. A lot of work on this thing just to get it going. A, couple, a bit of wiring, I didn't show you guys that, but I had to do a bit of wiring because some of the wires broke when I unhooked the solenoid. Lots of stuff, but she runs, she's good. We'll work you more tonight, but it flooded out and it died here and she doesn't want to kick back on so let her sit here for the night progress hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope to get, see, show you guys more if you guys want more content on this on on this uh, old seven oh, what is it 57 atlas ch uh chambers like that my great great not my great great my great grandfather built everything on i'll show you more let me know see you guys next time and put your pedal to the metal it's, a, it's a empty it's empty i know i want to look it up